Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my planner and journal favorites for 2020. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. I'm not gonna lie, this is all out here because I like the visual. Now, if I were that girl, I'd have um, a candle. Actually, I would have lit the candle and a big cup of coffee and maybe some dried flowers and a beautiful flat lay, maybe some faux fur. But um, I have a bunch of pens and washi and jelly beans. <laughs> I got jelly beans, the 20 pack from uh, Jelly Belly for Christmas, which was for me two days ago, the 24th. It's currently the 26th. And so I will put this away. I actually don't like to have food when I'm filming, but you know, I thought, you know, that's, that's cute. And this is just a, a cheese jar from Costco because <laughs> I'm fancy. So let me get some organization and I'll show you what my favorites are. When it comes to 2020, it wasn't until the latter part of the year that I realized that I am more of a journaler than a planner. So these are the ultimate two systems that I have ended the year with and I will be going into 2021 with as well, but I will put that in a separate video because there's others that I'll be doing. So this I've had for going on two years now. So this is my Skinny Classic Happy Nietzsche. And I won't do an entire flip through, but currently it has three months in it because it is quite chunky. And the way that I used to do my uh, spreads was I would just do a week on two pages like that, just regular Happy Planner style, although in my own way but it wasn't until November that I started doing this more of a bullet journal junk journal style where I have some collections at the beginning of the month and then I go into weekly journaling and I really enjoy that aspect of it. So this actually will be continuing. I've already started uh, a new one for 2021, but I will be doing a flip through of actually the entire year in a different video. Another one of my favorites, which is a recent addition, is my Stology. And this actually encompasses a couple of favorites. I was completely inspired to pick this up by my friend Andy of It's Andy. I'll link her channel below. This is an A5 half year Stology and I use this for work. And again, I am more of a completed tasks kind of person than a to-do list kind of person. And so I really enjoy how functional this is. I did start off in October, like I said, and it was very minimal in that it was only pen and highlighter but for December I decided to go a lot more decorative and I actually kind of like the both of the functionality as well as the decoration. For this one this is definitely a little less decorated than going into something like this and so I like the ability to change up from week to week but I also like that I am very functional in this and so that will definitely continue and I plan to use this through June of 2021 to finish out the academic year uh, because I do work on a college campus. Uh, it just makes sense to finish out an academic year and then start a new academic year in a new one. So unlike many that you see here on YouTube, I'm not starting a new Stology in January. The second part that I love about this Stology is this Moterm cover. Um, whenever I can find anything that I'm talking about in this video, I will put it in the description box below. This is just, it's so soft and it's so pretty. It still smells like leather. It's got so many pockets. I don't do it justice by way of the pockets. Um, and there's actually a huge one back here because uh, I don't really need it. I just, I wanted something to protect the book as this came 
can be in transit between my office as well as working from home. I do have this uh, Midori cover on it, but I wanted something else. And I just, I absolutely love this. My next set of favorites uh, falls under the header of stickers. Now, I love stickers. That's not a surprise, but I have been really loving floral stickers and my go-to's have been this flowers and fun florals and this layer florals that my friend Dee had gifted to me. She actually gifted to me two of these and so I love them. If I can get my hands on the mega, awesome. If not, I mean, <laughs> I definitely have a lot of floral stickers. I also found these here through Emmy Lou Arts and I'll link her channel below and these are Hida stickers. The last time I looked, uh, they were out of stock but they were gonna be restocking in January and I just love how adorable these girls are. And that's the six sheets that come. It actually comes with two packs in the set and I use this all through uh, December and I'm going to continue to use them. But I just like Korean stickers in general because I just, I find them so expressive. I find them definitely more expressive than any of the girls in the Happy Planner line. Um, from a girl sticker perspective, I actually prefer the LOL girls than the Happy Planner girls. But these have been my go-to more so than Wrong Wrong, LOL, or any of that. And then two small shops that I really enjoy are uh, Rena and Crystal Shop, Lux Clever Crafts. I will link their shop below. And I get all of my, or I get some of my day headers from them. And then I also enjoy Christy Marie Designs um, and her day headers. And I've got two different kinds from them. I definitely need to order more from both of these shops. And I could letter my day headings myself but I just I love the pop of either fun or elegance that these add to my planners and so I would definitely recommend both of their shops they're lovely uh, ladies they give great customer service and I'm just I'm, I'm a super fan of their products I'm not sure how well this uh, shows on camera, but I also um, ordered this stencil from my friend Christy Marie Designs. Again, she's the one that does that sticker. And then she had gifted me with this one. And I just love that these are very firm and very usable. I loved the ability to customize my journals into whatever I want with this. I've used the inside lines, I've used the outside lines, I've used this as a washi cutter, and so definitely check out her shop because I really enjoy this. Um, I believe some of these, especially these washi cutters here, uh, can be customized, although she does have some with already pre-made scripting on it. And it just, it comes with so much functionality that I don't use it to its full potential, but I love it. And I enjoy this one as well. And these uh, usually just stay to the right of me. Another thing that I have been loving this year is washi tape. Now this, I found it, it is my favorite washi tape of all time. And my lovely friend Andy, had gifted me a set of these. There's actually two more that go in the set. And these are all of these linear graph type and I absolutely love them. And as soon as I saw it, it's this is what I thought of. And it's such a good dupe for this one. This came in a pack of, I think there were 16 total. And I didn't wanna to have to buy the entire box just to get this one. So I love that I have all these and I love the colors. I'm gonna actually go on Amazon and see if I can find something in like a pink or yellow way. Cause I just, I love the linear aspect of it. But I'm also really loving neutral wise. This I had gotten, I think it was like 40 in the pack. There was so many of them. Now there's not that much on the roll as compared to this, but I do like that I have lots of different choices in these fun if muted colors, but I also can finish up a roll fairly quickly. Now I do it more bullet journal style or maybe junk journal style where it's decorative elements, but just really roughly torn. I don't do a lot of layering or a lot of uh, blocking like tops and bottoms and, and making boxes and things because I just don't have the skill. I'd love to, I just don't have the skill for that. But I have been loving all of these washi here. Now I have tons of washi, but these are the, the ones that I have been going to so far. 
My next favorite for 2020 actually is a spillover. I've really enjoyed my mild liners for quite some time now. And I've also have their brush set. Now with their brush set, I love the colors. I don't necessarily like using them for brush lettering. I use a lot of the mild lining to just add accents. Same with the Tombows. Um, because the nib is quite long, I always have the tendency to want to make big letters. And so I will need to practice on how to use these to make smaller letters. But I love the color shade. And this was the, the neutral or the palette or whatnot. And I did actually get these for Christmas. And so this is another dual brush pen set. And then this is the Twin Tone Pastels. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do color swatches of these. I have i don't know that I've ever known about these brush pens. I've been uh, ogling for a while, but this, this is new to me. So I'm going to be interested to see um, how these two work. From a pen perspective, um, mostly gel pens, but actually, I, I don't know what this is called, but it's a pen. Um, I have been loving my Sarasa Vintage Clip as well as my Sarasa Black Pen. I just love how they write. I love the colors, especially of the vintage. This isn't even all of them. And I just love how it flows on paper. Same with the Sarasa Black Clip Pen. It is quite dark and inky, and I love that. Now, I do have other black pens that are go-to as well. Um, my High Tech C and my Muji, and I kind of go between them, but also if I'm looking for something where I need to write very small, this is my go-to. And then this one, the ink sometimes um, skips, and so I can have good and bad uses of this. I don't even know if that's what I'm trying to convey, but sometimes it writes really well and I love it. And then it starts to skip and then I remember why it isn't as high on the list as the Sarasa. But these are my favorite gel pens. The other gel pen that I'm really loving this year is this Boxen Gold Gel Pen. This does come with both white and silver. I don't use them as much, but this one I have definitely used often and I really love how inky it is, although it does take a while to dry. And then the other pen that I've been enjoying is my Pigma Micron pen in 05. I've got a bunch of 05, although the next time I do an Amazon order, I might get the ones that are varying sides uh, just because I like the inkiness of this, plus it's waterproof. And so if I wanted to do some coloring or some water coloring, I could use this to make some designs. The last thing on my list is fountain pens. Now, these here I have borrowed from my brother and he actually put different uh, kind of inks in them and they're all different uh, makes and models of fountain pens. This is the only one that I own and I just really love using one. I feel super fancy when I use a fountain pen and I find that this one is probably my favorite, which is a Picasso pen because I really like the weight. But if I'm writing a lot, um, it can actually make my hand sore. This Lamy pen, if I'm writing a lot, actually is quite the trooper because it, it, even though they all seem to be either fine or extra fine nibs, this I get the most consistency out of my writing. Plus, because it's light and it's got kind of a, a thick barrel, my hand doesn't seem to get as tired as if I use something like this with like a thinner barrel. But the downside of this is one, uh, you need to clean and re-ink these. Well, the downside for my brother <laughs> is that you need to clean and re-ink these. So some of these actually don't hold very much ink and so I need to return them to him so he can he can do that. I actually would love to build up my fountain pen collection, but because of that very issue, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna be that mochi sister where I'm just like, oh, guess what? They're all empty. Could I, could I have them again? <laughs> and I'll be that girl. I absolutely will be that girl because I do enjoy playing with these. Although now that I say that, I might just uh, get a Lamy pen and just pick one color because the reason why I like multiple pens that he let me borrow is because there's different colored inks in them and they just, it, it makes me happy. I've got a thing for pens and paper and stationery.
I don't know if you guys noticed that. Uh, I would love to know what you guys think of this. Now, I actually should have said this in the beginning. This is in no way saying that you should get all of these things. And uh, just because I have them linked in the description box that, yeah, go buy, 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 buy. No, I would love to know what your favorite things are. These are just some things that I've discovered and they make me enjoy my process. But if you can find these things closer to you on sale, um, whatnot, I would definitely recommend that. Although, if you're like me, I'd actually recommend <laughs> you shop your stash and maybe fall in love with some of the things that you already have. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha. Mm -hmm.